introduce myself first. My name is Zaneta Anderafa from my 4 a Today, I want to share my experience visiting one of Indonesia largest pet expo, the Indonesia International Pet Expo. But before that, let me start by giving you some background about this event. The Indonesia International Pet Expo is an annual pet exhibition organized by Teman Indonesia. This year marked its ninth edition. The event was held at Indonesia Convention Exhibition based di Tangerang from September 1st to September 3rd, 2023. The theme for this year expo was the fascinating the world of pets. And ticket could be purchased on Tokopedia for Rp60,000 for one person. On September 2nd, 2023, I went to the expo with my uncle, my aunt, and my cousin. While they were primarily there to visit their friend Wood, I was excited to explore the event because of my pets at home and because my study program is mice and in the future I will learn about exhibition. As we arrived, we noticed many visitors bringing their pets along. Yes, you can bring your pet along as long as they pass health checks and vaccination verification at the entrance. As we entered the ice building and scanning our ticket, we were greeted with countless food to explore. This food range from those selling or so guest pets, pet food, accessories, to even having veterinary service. One particular booth that caught my attention was the dog salon, where dogs were creatively groomed and transformed into unique forms like zebra stripe or Pikachu team. I also witnessed police officer presenting their tracking dog at a booth. There's also a reptile exhibit, although I avoid that kind of booth because I'm not a fan of reptiles, but I could spot various reptiles like snake, lizard, and other exotic creatures. Apart from dog and reptiles, I had the pleasure encountering various other animals such as sugar glider, rabbit, diverse fish species, and even pony horses. The expo also featured talk show, although unfortunately none were ongoing during my visit. Moreover, they were dog and reptile competition adding to the event excite excitement. An FNB area was also available for visitors separate from animal exhibition. I couldn't resist the discount on pet accessory and food, so I bought some snack for my cat at home. I initially want to buy an action accessory for him, but I knew he wouldn't like it, so I decided not to buy it. After we satisfied looking around, we decided to head home. It was a fun experience for me, and I would like to go back to the exhibition again if I have, if I had the chance. That's my story of visiting AEPE. Thank you for listening.